Hi everyone, my name is Lloyd Graham and I'm an Assistant Director with Residential Programs and Services. We'll be talking a little bit about the assignment process for housing with Residential Programs and Services. So where you'll be living come the fall. The important deadlines for applying for housing are based off of priority grouping, which is different from the past when we focused on individual submissions. That first grouping uh, is for folks who submit their applications between February 1st and May 1st. Those group of people will have the same kind of access and priority to their preferences related to where they would like to live on campus. The second grouping comes at May 10th, and May 10th is also the date you can no longer make any more changes to your application submission. You could still make changes between May 1st and May 10th and still be in that first priority group as long as the initial submission was before May 1st. The third priority grouping is June 1st, uh, and then the fourth priority grouping is July 15th. You are not necessarily guaranteed your first choice, but there is a greater likelihood that you would get it depending on the priority grouping you are a part of. So in terms of accommodations, if you should need them, we do have a medical verification form that you can submit online with your housing application uh, that is due by May 1st. Please make sure you do your best to try to get that in by May 1st so we can take that into consideration as we're placing you in your ideal housing uh, situation for the fall. You'll find out about your housing in kind of two different iterations from the university by email. Uh, the first iteration or information that would be communicated to you uh, would happen around mid-June. And so that would be information related to the cost of housing and the building that you would be located in. Uh, towards the end of July, is when you would get more specific information, again by email, um, identifying any roommates or roommate, most likely a roommate, and then also uh, the actual room or unit number for the building that you're staying in. Uh, so two iterations once in the middle of June and once at the end of July. There's one fee that you would pay initially for submitting your housing application. It's a $200 non-refundable housing application fee. There are exemptions for living on campus. We do have a first year live on requirement and if you feel like you meet the criteria of being exempt from that first year live on requirement, we encourage you to submit that exemption form or request before you actually apply so that you aren't paying that $200 and then come to find out later that you are exempt from housing. Uh, that exemption process takes about two weeks. You still hopefully have enough time to be in that first priority group if you get your application in by May 1st. You may or may not have a roommate. Uh, every year it changes and because of COVID, uh, there are some different kind of criteria and uh, options available for you. The first option is essentially to uh, request a roommate. The key with that is making sure that both you and your roommate that you want to stay with have the exact same preferences down. A lot of our assignment process is generated by a computer and if the computer sees something that's off there is a chance that it may not realize that you two want to be together. Uh, the other option is just to be randomly paired with someone at the university. The other option is to live by yourself. Uh, for a single rate, and that would be more costly. Living with a roommate likely will be the least expensive option for you, but also that depends on where you stay. We have several options in terms of cost categories for housing. We have three that we essentially name. One is enhanced, that's the most expensive. Two is standard with air conditioning, that's the kind of middle of the road. Uh, and then three is standard without air conditioning, and that's the least expensive of those three options. If you have any questions at all, feel free to contact us by uh, emailing askrps at indiana.edu or going to our website and filling out a currently non-student contact form to get in touch with us. You can also feel free to follow us on social media, whether that be Instagram, Twitter, or going to our website, housing.indiana.edu.